third act is, is new to the Anonymous, uh, making their debut. I know a lot of people in this audience uh, have heard of uh, Jeremiah McLean or seen him perform. He's kind of a local legend. Um, and he's brought a young man uh, who grew up in, Mon in uh, Montreal, uh, lives now in Boston. Uh, and, and what I learned is they don't have any recordings together, although Jeremiah has a bunch of his CDs that you might want to check out after they're set. But they're kind of new to playing together. But I don't think there's anything that beats this kind of dynamic when people get together in person and play. I think that's where the best music comes from, and it's partly having the live audience, too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're in for a real treat. Please welcome Jeremiah McLean and Eric Boodman.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, those were um, some of our favorite Quebec tunes. Uh, in addition to being a, a really great human being and a, and a great fiddler, it's because you don't know that. Uh, no, no, no. How many of you guys speak French, by the way? Okay, <laughs> but well, okay. Uh, Eric also writes um, amazingly beautiful music, and we're going to do a song that he um, set set words, the traditional words uh, to his own melody, which is a thing that we like. Uh, tri trad players like to do. Pretending that it's trapped, but this is a, a, a melody that Eric came up with, and the song is called Set Dance Humaine. You want to tell them what the song is about? A little bit? Sure. I won't go through all the verses, but uh, I found this, this song in an old book, and it is about people who are lost at sea, and they've been at sea for seven years, and they run out of food, and they have to eat their dogs and cats, and they have to eat the soles of their shoes, and they draw straws to see who's going to be the first human being to be eaten. Oh my god. And Maybe don't worry, it's, it's actually, the melody is quite happy. But, um, <laughs> and the captain actually gets the shortest straw and he's like, hey, servant boy, would you like to die for me? And the servant boy says, sure, I will happily die for you. I just want to climb up to the masts one last time. And then some stuff happens once he's up in the mast, but I won't bore you with that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Once he, uh, once he gets up into the masts, he says, he starts to laugh, and everyone's like, whoa, 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 what are you laughing about? This is not funny. And he's like, oh, I see a garden, and I see three lovely ladies walking in the garden. Ça s'appelle « Sept ans sur mer », puis s'il y a des francophones, ou en fait, si vous n'êtes pas francophones, vous pouvez chanter avec nous. Euh, c'est « Aurons-nous de la liberté », c'est la, la réplique, la, la réponse qu'on peut chanter. Um, and the tune that comes after it is one that I wrote for a dear friend who passed away last year. Thank you. 
Thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Uh, also, I feel like I'm, I'm looking at the set list and realizing we don't have any of Jeremiah's tunes. Oh, we do, we do, we do. Oh, we do. Okay, okay, phew. I was like, I, 
I, I can't, it, it seems criminal to play an evening with Jeremiah McLean and not play some Jeremiah McLean tunes. But first, we're going to play some more tunes from Quebec. Because, you know, that's why we're here. That's why Eric and I are here, to play you some tunes from across the border. And uh, I know there's a lot of fans of this music out there, so, so this is for you guys. It's a longer set, and it starts off with a cotillon. De Amable Jalbert, and this actually comes from the repertoire of David Simard. I don't know if any of you have run into David. I, I grew up going to sessions with David, and he was the guy who was like man-spreading while doing feet. Anyway, he's got a big mustache. Um, I guess we'll play some tunes now. And then, and then uh, yes, well, we're going to keep going.
There is a certain, um, I mean, for working bands who play a lot of shows, the same material night after night, and I, uh, I can count myself a one among those, but I'm sure some of you have seen bands that do this, to play the same show each night, and it gets better and better, it's great. But there's something that's really unique and special about playing one show once with somebody that you sort of put together, and it's, it's kind of like you know, you're on the edge a lot. It's, it's an exciting feeling, we hope, we hope you're with us on that. Um, so, <laughs> so I, I, just, I just want to say how much, uh, how much a great fun it is to share with another person on stage and th that exhilarating feeling of, of risk and, and excitement. So, um, this next piece is a piece that I wrote. So this is the, the Jeremiah piece, and it's a, it's a piece that I wrote um, for a great friend of mine, Pete Sutherland. And I know a lot of you know Pete. Uh, he had a, an absolutely huge presence, and uh, I could go on a lot. I actually played this piece that we're about to play in this very same spot <laughs> uh, this past week on Sunday night. Um, and it's a great pleasure to play it again. And I'll never tire of playing it because it makes me think of Pete, everything he brought. So this is for Pete.
Thank you very much. And there are many more beautiful Jeremiah McLean tunes on the CDs that Jared has brought, so you should all take some home with you. We got one more thing to play, and we're going to invite Jake to come up and play with us. And these are some Keep Written tunes because, I mean, we got Jake with us, so. <laughs>
Hill Hurt.